Hey guys, real quick, before we begin this video of the Tuma Salgaris, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's been supporting the channel, everybody who's been liking, commenting, uh, giving so much love to all things nerd. You guys are the absolute best. I can't wait to get to 10,000 subscribers. We're getting so close, and it's just such a big accomplishment, but I just really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for everything you guys do. Uh, you guys are more than, like, way than enough for this channel and uh, I, I couldn't be more happier. So I just want to say uh, thank you from Nathan and uh, you guys are the best and I hope you enjoy the Tuma Salgaris video. Thanks. Guardian Egwin appears just as she did in the cathedral. I sealed each level of this temple so that no invader could descend into its depths. I never anticipated that the Legion would find another way to breach its dark heart. My protective wards now bar you away. Each seal can only be opened with one of the pillars of creation. Be warned, the demons will stop at nothing to prevent your advance. I can sense one of the Legion's masters working to reanimate the avatar of Sargeras. Should kill Jaden infuse that husk with the Dark Titan's power, I do not know whether any force on this world can stop it. Then we have no time to lose. Heroes, the paths are open. Use the pillars of creation to bypass Aegwyn's wards before the Legion claims the Avatar. Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us back to the Legion expansion, where you have all been really enjoying the Legion expansion. And uh, I, I'm so happy because the Legion expansion, it was awesome. And I know for a lot of you, that was like really peak WoW. Um, you know, despite the OG trilogy of Wrath of the Lich King and the Burning Crusade and Classic WoW, I know Legion was a really favorite expansion of a lot of people, and so um, I'm glad to be here. You know, it took me long enough to come into this raid, didn't it? <laughs> I was very excited to do this raid for a long time. I've I, uh, been exploring it a lot, and uh, you know, I gotta tell you guys, this video is gonna be a long video because I think I might split it up into two or three parts just because there is a lot to cover. You guys don't understand how massive this raid is. Like, you have the whole tomb itself which is the raid and then you have the outside part i won't spoil anything but this it's just it's there's a lot to explore and a lot to see so we're gonna do a couple of different directions here of the way that we can do this video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i personally break out of the raid and i'm gonna be showing you the best place to break out obviously where to avoid for the dc or the disconnects and uh, where you could fly around so Let's go have fun. Come and join me as we do the Tomb of Selgaris. All right, guys, we are here in the Tomb of Selgaris. It is getting real, and I'm going to be showing you how I break out of this raid. And uh, I'm, I'm super excited because I actually just, just discovered this breakout not too long ago. And uh, I didn't get it off anybody, so uh, I didn't see any other videos made on this place with this breakout. So this... I am claiming this as my own out of bounds style here. Maybe someone else already did it. I don't know. But uh, as far as I know, it hasn't been done from what I've seen. So maybe correct me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so where I'm currently at is actually the Abyssal Approach. And uh, it is right before the mistress. Of, I don't know how to say her last name, but the mistress boss down here. And I'm going to show you where the room that I'm currently going to. So this is the boss room, right? So right before the boss room, there is this arcway leading into the boss room right here, right above me, right? So what you can do is um, I would highly recommend that you get into Havoc as always because it's so easy. Just in case you also got to save yourself. Now, I do apologize. We may DC. <laughs> I've been practicing this a lot, but I may mess up. Now, how you want to perform this glitch or get out of bounds is you want to get up here in the hallway and you want to start flying down and there's going to be on the left here you're going to be able to fly through this wall over here just barely you can like flip through 
when you do that you're gonna want to turn around instantly and land like right around here if you go let me show you guys if you fly through the wall and you land in the back over here like behind the wall if you land in the water anywhere you're going to dc so this is a little tricky to pull off but let's see if we can do it and then i want to show you guys how massive this dungeon is and it's just going to be a lot of or sorry this raid it's going to be a lot of fun and I, I i can't wait to show this raid off to you guys and this out of bounds it's just it's just going to be awesome so we're going to have a good time with this uh like i said we might break this up into like two or three parts i don't know because there is a lot to explore so what we're going to be doing is we're going to try this again we're going to go here we're going to break off to the left and we almost got in i think what we're going to try is just doing this right here you can barely just jump in here as well there we go okay we're in i think yeah we're in okay so we clipped through now like i was saying be careful um, I kind of want to show you guys exactly where I'm at. So you can see me in here in the wall here. This is where I'm at. If you stand right here, you're fine. If you drop into this water over here, anywhere over here, you're going to DC. You're going to get stuck in a DC loop. So what I recommend is because you're in Havoc, you're going to want to jump up and fell rush, fell rush straight out and you'll get out of the map. So this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be the exciting part. This is what I was talking about. How big this raid is it is absolutely massive outside so there's a couple of ways that we can go about doing this we can either go left and we can explore the whole left side or we can go right and explore the other right side i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go straight out and then i'm gonna drop down and we're gonna go explore some of the raid first and then we'll go do the big reveal and i want to show you guys exactly what's out here now if you already played this raid you probably already know what i'm talking about um but you'll see here okay so let's jump up. We're going to fell rush, fell rush out again. And there we go. We are out of the raid. Now, once you come out here, do you get an awesome shot of Argus here? Look at that. How cool is that? This is what my teaser video was, the one that I had uploaded the other day. You also get the above shot of the raid above us. And you just get this awesome freaking... Oh, look at that. Check that out. So we're actually in um, one of the parts of the, the raid right now. Um, but what's funny is we're outside the map. So look at this. You get this awesome view of everything. Check this out. I mean, how awesome is this? When do you ever get this view of the, of the raid, right? So you kind of get to see this whole like effect of the outside of the raid. I'm telling you guys, this place is massive. Now... I will do a little bit of a spoiler here. Down here is all of the Broken Isles. Like, most of it. It is absolutely massive. Because if you remember at the end of the raid, you actually come out into Azuna on a little... I think right up here. I don't remember. It's like, I think right up here. And you have Cadgar and Illidan and all that. And they're meeting you outside. Um, but you just get this awesome, like, floating effect in, like, the space area here. Now, you can skip directly down it to the last uh, boss, Kill Jaden, right down here. He's actually right on the ship down here. So what we can go do is we can actually go fly into the nether. And I want to go show you guys kind of what's down there. But there is just so much to explore. This braid is massive. And it's just really awesome to see. Um, so let's just keep flying around. And I'm going to drop down a little bit to save some time because there's a lot to cover here and you'll just fall and fall and fall but look at that isn't that just freaking amazing now we have dropped into look at that shot over there we have dropped into um the broken isles here so that's why we're, our whole thing is changing but look at this we're gonna go see if we can get into the nether over here um and that's where i kind of want to go to first for this out of bounds experience here so we're going to keep dropping. We're going to keep dropping. And we're going to go keep flying forward. And we're going to see if we can drop into the, the Twisting Nether. And that's exactly where I want to get to. But isn't this just amazing? So you guys have this whole map to explore. And there's so much to see. I'm telling you guys. This map is massive. So it's just... Uh, it, this is going to be a really fun video. And I hope you guys stick around through the whole video. Because this is going to be awesome to see. Now look at this. Here's the uh, last boss room, actually, I believe. That's the model that you fight on. 
Now I've already killed uh killed Jaden. So uh we're just gonna fly towards the ship. And uh we're gonna see if we can get into the nether here. The twisting nether. And I'm just slowly gonna make my way here. But you know, this might also just be a model that's out here that's used as well. This might not actually be the last boss room, because I don't know if we're actually in the twisting nether yet. But we're gonna go fly towards the ship and check it out. It's just kind of just chilling out here. But you guys can just understand, like, you get this, how big of the map this is. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, so we finally got in here. Um, this is freaking awesome. Look at this. All right, let's go see if we can get on the ship over here. Um, you know, unfortunately, because we've already killed, we've already killed, killed Jay, and that's kind of hard to say. Um, maybe we actually can't get in the Twisting Nether anymore. Do we fly through the ship? Oh, we do. So this is just a model. Ooh, what is that down there? Check that out. Look at that. I don't know what that is. I've never actually been down here, so this is actually exciting. Oh, you know what that? I, I think I know what that is. So, what I was talking about earlier about the Broken Isles, I think we're heading towards a piece of the Broken Isles, maybe? So, here's actually the last boss room. But because we already killed, killed Jaden, I don't think we're supposed to be here. So the twisting nether effect actually goes away. And what is that in the distance though? Now I'm like super curious. I think that's water, if I'm not mistaken. And the reason I say that is because the broken isles actually wraps around the whole map here. And you get like this awesome part, but yeah, cause that looks like water right there. Now I'm kind of afraid cause I don't want to DC. We're going to keep our air here if we can, but look this guys, yeah, this is awesome. All right, we're going to keep going forward here. Now, I do apologize. I know I'm flying and flying and flying. And you guys are probably waiting for me to land here. And I'm trying to get there as fast as possible. But I also don't want to miss the land. So we're just going to keep flying out here. And, man, this is, like, weird. I'm going to say untextured. <laughs> untextured space out here. All right, we're going to keep moving forward. And I wonder what this landmass is. Now I'm really curious. Can we fly to it is the question. The other question is, I don't want to DC. Oh, we DC. <laughs> All right, so we made it in here, but I don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's water. Now, I'm hoping we can get back in. If not, I'm going to have to clip the video here, but let's see if we can continue here. Where are we exactly? Oh, and we died. <laughs> I don't know where we're at. Look at this. We're in the water. Ah, yeah. So I think this is part of the Broken Isles. It's just a really far part of it. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Well, cool. So now we know exactly what that is. Hey, at least we died. I mean, we could have got stuck there in DC'd. Um... <laughs> All right, guys, let's go head back there. And uh, man, this is fun already. I'm already having a good time. So I know a way that you can actually get to the Broken Isles. Um, and I'm going to show you guys here. And I'll skip some of the flying part. So uh, give me a second here. Because it's going to take a minute to get all the way back down there. And I don't want you guys to have to watch me fly across the whole space and time and continuum again. So I will be right back. And I'm going to... I will start the video again when I get right back. So give me a second. All right, guys, we are back again. Sorry about that. I actually DC'd, so I had to open up a Blizzard support ticket and get myself unstuck. Uh, anyways, I had used the unstuck feature. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to get to the Broken Isles in the Tomb Sagars. Um, now, you're going to want to follow my lead here as uh, it, it's really simple to do, but it just takes a minute to get down there. So we're going to do the same technique we did earlier. We're going to jump up. We're going to foul rush. We're going to foul rush out. We're going to avoid the water. And there we go. We are officially outside the map again. Now, like I was saying, the whole Broken Isles is over here. You see all this green in the distance? This is all the Broken Isles. And it's pretty amazing that you can go explore all of this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to head out to the left. You're just going to stick out to the left and go farthest toward Argus, right? 
So when you're flying towards Argus, um, you're just going to keep going. And it's going to take a minute. So one thing I do recommend is that you do drop. Now, make sure to avoid the raid first so you don't drop back into the raid for some reason. So I would fell rush, drop, fell rush out. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to drop down. We're going to keep flying. We're going to keep flying. And then we're going to drop down. And we're going to keep flying again. Now over here in the distance, this is where we want to get to. This is the broken isles, right? So look at that. You can even see uh, Val Shara in the distance with the tree. Uh, it's pretty amazing. They keep like the whole broken isles over here. It's really, really cool. Uh, I'm excited to show you guys. So we're going to keep going. We're going to drop. We're going to foul rush. We're actually going to do a little bit of trickery here and do some vengeful retreating. And then we're just going to keep dropping. And there we go. Okay, so we hit the Broken Isles map here. I love that view in the distance. You can see one of the rooms with the uh, bosses in it. How awesome is that? Just kind of floating in the sky there. All right, so we're going to keep going. We're going to drop down all the way. And we're going to keep falling. Now, when we keep doing this, you can see the mountains in the distance. This is perfect. There we go. We're going to want to avoid the right side over here. And that's because that is water. We're going to want to land on the... As you guys know, I call it untextured space. <laughs> we're going to want to call it undeveloped space. So we're going to keep dropping here. But this is what I'm telling you guys. Like this map is massive. Like there is so much here to explore and it's really exciting. So we're going to drop down here and there you go. You can see the broken house in the distance. And actually, they keep all of Dalaran in the distance, too, by the way. I just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, we're going to keep going. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're going to keep dropping. And... That would be sad if we died, like, right when we hit the bottom. I always psych myself out of how, actually, how close I am to like to the bottom and stuff so i end up always like accidentally killing myself and there we go okay we made it so we're gonna drop our cat and there we go we're gonna go explore now check this out this is the whole broken aisles out here uh and you can go freely explore it so let's go ahead this way and let's go ahead and in, in inland here look at this so we're heading towards stormheim and what's really awesome about this map is like they really give this effect that you are actually in space um, that you're floating in the twisting nether that you're around Argus and then you come down here and you got the whole broken isles right below you and people never know that like you'll never see this in the regular map unless you do out of bounds right now unfortunately I don't think we can drink a sneaky bright potion it doesn't let us I can't use that item oh yet. maybe it does okay it wouldn't let me earlier, so I don't know what changed, but awesome. Okay, so we're able to see a lot more. So let's go ahead into Stormheim, and let's go take a look and see exactly what they keep. Now you can see Val Shara over there in the distance with the tree. And uh, yeah, guys, this map is just massive. Like, they keep so much out here, and there's a lot to see. So I'm going to go run across this, and I'll be right back, because I don't want to have to have you guys watch me run across this whole thing. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you for your patience in this video. I know there's a lot to explore and a lot to cover. Look at this. Look at this coming into Stormheim. We're like coming through the wall here of the mountain. It's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, I love that like half of the map is gone. Look at this floating bridge in the distance. So we're about to go into the broken aisles of uh, a raid, which <laughs> is, in is incredible to me. I just, I never thought there would be a whole broken. Oh. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't walk off there. That would have been bad. All right, we're going to head over here because we need to go on the water because we can walk on it. Ooh, that would have been horrible. Okay, there we go. Man, that was close. Man, I got to tell you guys, if you ever do out of bounds content or you just want to explore, get inflatable mount shoes for your mount. They are a lifesaver. They have saved my butt so much in doing out of bounds content. Without them, I don't know if I could do half my videos just because there's so much water involved. And as you know, you hit the water, you're most likely going to DC and disconnect. So that's a problem. But look at this. 
we are officially in Stormheim in the Raid of Selgars. And it is awesome because they keep most of almost the whole thing here. We're going to jump back on our cat and we're going to keep riding. And I'm going to give you guys as much as a view as I can of everything that's here and what they keep and what they don't. Uh, I won't explore the whole island just because, you know, it still is the broken isle. So you can go explore this in retail if you want. But I just want to show you guys an example of how big this map is and all the things you can explore. So let's go take the path down here and let's go into Stormheim just a little bit here. And I want to show you the backside. So I believe this is actually the edge of the map over here. Yep, it looks like it is. Look at that. They do keep a lot of the water over there, too. Wow. It's just uh, incredible to me how massive this is. Look at that. They even keep the whole, uh, I don't know what you call that. Yeah, Halls of Valor up there and everything as well. Cool. All right, let's go head back this way. I love the fall trees and the foliage going on. I'm really having a good time with that. Stormheim was a really fun place to be, especially in the Legion expansion. All right, let's go head back through the gates. And let's do a little bit of jumping. And I'm trying to move my camera around as much as possible so you guys can get all these shots of Stormheim and what's here. And I love the music in the background. Here goes the statues. Check that out. Look at that. Awesome. Love it. Now, uh, real quick, I'm going to bump up my graphics here. Oops. And see if we can get a better quality of everything here. So you guys can see everything that's outside. Uh, hopefully it won't be too much strain on the uh, computer, but I don't think it will. It's so funny. Um, every time you run past here, it look it's like we're in uh, Exiles Reach, right? On the on the out of bounds version of it, because they keep Stormheim assets out there. And uh, I always wondered where that was from, and I was like, ah, oh, that click. So that's where it is. If you guys ever do Exiles Reach out of bounds, you know that. Uh, there you go. They take Stormheim assets and they actually put them out in the islands in the distance of the map. So. Normally you're never supposed to be out there, but I found some ways to get out there. Pretty, pretty simple. If you go watch some of my older Exile Reach videos, I'll show you how to explore out there. And it's really neat stuff actually to see. All right, let's keep heading up this way. And let's go get out of Stormheim and let's go head into Suamar. Now we do got to be careful um, when we head into um azuna just because that is actually where the end of the raid happens uh if you guys remember like i was explaining earlier so we don't want to go too far in because it will actually teleport you back to the ending um ooh, i forgot there's a bunch of bridges and stuff down here how do we get out of here what we might have to do is just cross here Oh, yeah. What am I thinking? We're a demon hunter. We can cross. If only we had the demon hunter in exiles reach, that would have been a big help. Can we go up this way? I think we can. Uh, maybe not. Okay, we're okay. I just want to get across over there so that we can get out of here. So let's go do a little bit of flying. But isn't this amazing? Like, you guys probably never would have guessed that this was out here. Like, that they keep the whole thing of Exiles Reach out here. It's just incredible. All right, let me lose my HUD again. And I'm going to go run into Sumar, and I'll be right back because I don't want to have to have you guys keep watching me run through all this map. If I find something really interesting, I'll show you. But for the most part, it's just the Broken Isles, but it's still pretty cool to be able to explore a unfinished Broken Isles out in the raid. So... Let me um, get on my mount here, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back again, and we are officially going into Suomar. 
And as you can tell, they actually keep all of Dalaran out here as well, which is awesome. And that looks like the knife hold in the distance, the raid. And also, I believe, if I remember correctly, they keep the broken shore. I don't know if they keep the eye of a shar out here, but they keep a lot and it is a lot to explore. So we're gonna keep moving our way through the map here. And we're gonna go get over to, um, we're gonna cross through the city here and we're gonna go get into the broken shore. So let's keep moving forward and let's go get by the Tomb of Selgaris in the Tomb of Selgaris. So it'd be like Tomb of Selgaris Inception. <laughs> if that's how you want to say it, I don't know. But this is just, ah, man, this is incredible. That they keep all of this out here. I'm just amazed. Look at this, the whole city's here. Wow. Now, we do got to be careful of the water, like I said, so we're going to avoid the water as much as possible. Um, but we're going to jump down here and look at this. The whole city is here. Oh, man, that's amazing to me. Awesome. 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 All right. So we're going to get down here. I'm going to get back on my mount because uh, we need to walk across the water. So we're going to head over here and we need to get to a place where we can just slowly walk in. And I think right here should be fine. We got to be careful that we don't swim in. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, because sometimes your character, when you're going into the water, will uh, completely like just fall in and then you get DC and then you're stuck and it's just not fun. So we want to make sure we don't dismount here. But oh, wow, this is incredible. Incredible. All right, let's go head over to... Now, I don't think we can actually get into Dalaran, unfortunately. So we'd have to try to fly in there. So we'd have to get on top of the high mountain area. But, you know, for, for right now, I think I'm okay. I'm just going to stick with this. And let's go head over to the Broken Shore. And let's go see if we can go to the Tomb of Sargars in the Tomb of Sargars raid. I'm excited. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we have made it to the Broken Shore and look at this. They keep everything here. This place is massive for being, you know, <laughs> for being in supposed to be in a raid. Um, it's just amazing what they keep outside. And uh, we're going to get up here and we're going to see if we can make our way to the entrance of the tomb this way. Look at that. Everything's here. Now, unfortunately, I don't think they keep anything special special out here, like um, test models or anything like that, which is kind of saddening. But but I do love that we were able to do the stinky bright potion because it does make it so you can see everything a lot better. Look at that. Oh, here we are. Now, unfortunately, we are here. I don't think this is the actual entrance to the raid, quote unquote. Um, so you don't have an entrance to the raid. Well, you do, but I don't know exactly where it's at. So, but I know this is just the model for the tomb, which is awesome because we are officially in the tomb of Sagaris, the raid. And uh, we are here at the entrance, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to go anywhere closer to this because I don't want to accidentally like DC or anything. So um, I just wanted to show you guys this is out here. Like you can explore almost all the broken aisles outside of this raid and it's pretty incredible. Okay, so what we're going to do next is I want to go head out towards this way. Well, you know, we came in from Stormheim in the back here, right? There was a whole another place to wrap around and I want to know what is exactly out there. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to go make my way out past there again. And then I will be right back because I don't want to have to have you guys watch me cross the whole broken aisles just to get out of bounds again. So uh, give me one minute and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back again. If you remember the Druid Order class hall in Legion, well, we're here. We are inside the Dream Grove in the tomb of Selgaris. I mean, it's pretty amazing. You can actually go in here and explore and you don't even have to be a druid. So 
being a demon hunter in the druid class order hall isn't this awesome look at this ah pretty amazing that they keep all of this here didn't think i'd ever be a demon hunter in a quarter class well actually i did this i did do this similar video uh when i did the i believe it was the court of stars um i was actually in the order hall for the hunter and actually the druid as well so but look at all this so we finally made it to the other side of the world but yeah you can get in the order class halls now what i wanted to go explore is i was curious to see what's on the other side of the water here because it seems like there was a lot more that you could go explore and i do got to be careful here as i don't want to drop in the water but there seems like there is a lot and uh, we can get on the back side of the island here but look at that so the whole broken isles is here but if you go out that way there's more to explore and that's what i want to go see i want to go see what is over there you guys remember when we were flying down from on top and we were landing over here in stormheim remember there was like a whole nother i don't know it seemed like there was a whole nother continent or something that was out here to to see and that's what i want to go check out so we're going to go walk across the water here and uh, we're going to go see what's actually back here now there might not be anything to be honest with you all but i'm very curious to see if there is anything over here and that's what we're going to go find out so i'm going to go run across the water and uh, I will be right back because I don't want to have to have you guys watch me run across miles and miles of water. And um, I will be here in just a second. So give me one minute. Okay, guys. So <laughs> something really interesting here is you can see the Broken Isles way in the distance behind me. And you can see the final boss ship that you fight kill Jaden on. Where I'm currently at is way off the map over, if you go up north, past Argus, past High Mountain, way up this way, there's just miles and miles and miles and miles of nothing but water and void game space. So if, you, if I go left, I'm gonna run into a wall here, or I should, <laughs> but uh, it's just very, there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing out here. So I've just been walking and running and walking um, with my mount and just to see if I run into anything. So I'm just kind of waiting. But what's really interesting is we're actually above the entrance to the map. So you see the uh, where you walk in to the raid. You go in here and this is the beginning area. That's where we're currently uh, you know, below right now. So the map is above us. Um, and yeah, we're just going to keep walking until we run into something. But I think how this map is made is... You have the whole raid above you. Then you have the Broken Isles over here. Then the uh, the, the Kill Jaden last boss room. But what's interesting is I think everything's kind of like made around the last boss room. So you have like the whole body of water of the Broken the broken Isles, right? Um, and it's just like cut out in the middle. And that's what makes like the void space in there. Um, so if, you, if we were to jump out into here towards the ship, we'd go back into the space or space realm space that we were playing in in the raid so right now we're currently technically quote unquote still in the broken isles we're just out miles outside the game space uh in the great sea area so i think that's what's exactly what's going on there's nothing really else out here but i'm curious to get over on this side and see if there's anything over there because we did see like mountain areas and stuff in the distance here right and some space seem like so let's go keep riding this way and uh yeah it's just kind of a neat little scene here though you can kind of see just so amazing the stuff you're never supposed to see to begin with and now if we turn off our stinky bright ah, i'm so afraid to turn off our stinky bright potion because i don't want to see like i hope there's not like fog of war or something so let's get over here first and then i'll turn it off and see what it looks like so uh i will be right back again all right, guys, we are back again, and look at this. Look at this view. We are, like, in the middle of an ocean in space. Ah, this is incredible. So you can see the floating um, part of the raid up there. You can see the last boss room up there where you fight Kill Jaden. It's kind of just hanging out there in space. And then you get a little, kind of an awesome view in the distance there of uh, the Broken Isles. But look at this. 
I love this so much. It's like we're just floating in the great beyond in water. Now you guys remember when we were flying in the beginning of the video and we glitched out uh, and then we flew past the ship and we got DC'd. So this was actually the body of water that we got DC'd at because now we're on the backside of the ship as you can see. And there goes the uh, last boss room right there. So this is an awesome view. Look at that. Can't see Argus in the distance, unfortunately, but this is just really cool. Really, really cool. I love this out. And I look at the cat too. It just kind of fits in with everything as well. It glows in the dark. So cool. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so I can give you guys all a... Uh... I wish I could take my selfie camera out. Oh, it's awesome. Love this game space so much. I turned off my sneaky bright potion, so I'm glad I did. I never would have experienced this. I was kind of afraid at first just because uh, I thought we might hit like a uh, fog of war. But no, I mean, it's pretty amazing out here. Now, um, I think technically we just did like a giant circle of the Broken Isles because we're just in like the body of water that's in the Great Sea, the place that you're never supposed to get to, like the fatigue area. So basically the whole map is just built above a model of the Broken Isles with the raid above it. So that's, that's really it. Uh, but it's pretty neat to see though. So if you guys do ever fly down here and you break out of the raid, do make sure to go to the left and go into the Broken Isles that way first. Because if you land out here at all, you're gonna DC and you're gonna have to get yourself unstuck. I'm just going around because I wanna see what was exactly out here. And this was it. Um, Oh, it's starting to get day again, though. Look at that. It's starting to clear up. Pretty incredible. Man, I love this so much. This has been a really fun OOB to do. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, now, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Because there's not really too much left to explore. Obviously, there's other places we could go fly to in the Tomb of Sagars, the raid. Uh, and there's different things we can see. But I just wanted to show you guys exactly how to break out of the raid and uh, what to do and where to go. And as you can see, uh, you can go explore the whole Broken Isles outside of the raid if you want. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So I, I definitely encourage you guys all to come out here. Come check out the Tomb of Sogars. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, my name is Nathan and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.